Hey guys, Jerry Mitchell like here, and I want to thank Smith & Wesson for sponsoring this video. And the title will be, The Importance of Practicing with Your Concealment Handgun. So, what I like to do, of course, if I'm going to handle my pistol and I'm not live on the range, I'm going to make sure it's fully empty, check the magazine, check the chamber. There's no ammunition on me, there's, nothing, there's no way I can chamber around or put one in the magazine, so it's pretty much totally safe to handle in this condition. So if I want to dry fire this way, I have an appendix holster. This is a crossbreed holster and this is the next belt. I find these combinations work really good for me, but there's a lot of good products out there. So research the internet or find, talk to someone who has a concealment rig and maybe you can actually try it before you buy it. But anyway, give you an idea. What you want to be aware of guys, you want to be extremely aware of where this trigger finger is at all times. Trigger discipline is going to be paramount. You never go into the trigger guard unless the muzzle is parallel to the ground. That has to be ingrained. The other thing I like to do is when I reholster, there's two things I really want to try to focus on is something different than a firing position. I want to think a little bit before I put it in a holster. So to me to do something different than this, I have to make myself want to do this. I want to see my thumb on the back of the slide. That makes me aware of this finger, which has to be parallel to the muzzle, without a trigger guard. And when I go to reholster, I'm going to be extremely cautious about how you do this. I don't want to do this coming to my holster like this, because if it goes where it's not intended, it's going to go right through me. So minimize, always minimize your exposure to the muzzle if possible. So on an appendix holster, I'll take my time to make sure nothing is there. Put it in. If you want to host it before you put your holster, on that's a good idea also when you go hot with live ammunition guys you have to be extremely careful how you address this in the host and how you put it back that's paramount finger out of trigger guard till the muzzle is parallel to the ground which are, the other thing you want to realize is when you grab from an appendix position like this and that's why it's important to practice with it if I have an isosceles stance and I grab my pistol and my arm is in line with the pistol when I bring it into the shooting position it's going to be grossly off -site of my dominant eye. So I have to make myself, when I grab, is to put it, my elbow out, maybe a little bit in front, if I have the time to do that and the thought process. It's all about re being repetitive. Get that elbow out a little bit, so when I grab it, I'm gonna come up, you can see, it's pretty much with my dominant eye now. And as soon as it becomes parallel to the ground, I can address the trigger and press it out and make the shot. Always work in cycles smoothly and consistently, dry fire. And take it from there. The other thing guys you might want to practice and you should practice and I'll make you practice it is trying to draw from a seating or a seated position. Uh, what you want to be aware of when you do this when you produce the gun out of the holster you're gonna have a large portion of your body out in front of you so trigger discipline is going to even be more important you want to be aware of that if you draw the pistol you have all this territory to cover before you get into the trigger guard so there again, sights on target or parallel to the ground is the only time you, could, you should ever mount your trigger. Ooh, kind of fun guys, that's what you want to practice. You want to practice weekend strong hand. As you can see on the target, it's relatively easy to do. You want to, try, you, you want to try to apply yourself to the target at the speed that you might encounter. And it's just fun to practice and do it safely. So there you have it guys. Uh, have a good day on the range and never forget, get some.